Hey guys, I'm Maximum Anderson, and in today's lesson we're going to check out a fill that you guys have requested that I break down. So it's from the song Assassin by Muse, and I recently covered this song and lots of you guys had questions about it, etc. Uh, I believe it's the only 16th note triplet based fill in that song, if that makes any sense. So if you guys are ready for it, let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing we gotta realize is that it's a really simple concept. It's only three notes that repeats over and over and over until we stop on a downbeat. So, what are those three notes? Well, let's learn the sticking pattern. It's right, left, kick. Alright, it's just right, left, kick over and over and over until we stop. So, uh, to start this, you gotta get comfortable with that pattern, the right, left, kick, and really get that into your brain. And in order to do so, all you have to do is just repeat it over and over. So, you don't have to have any drums, you don't have to have a pad to get this in your body. You can do this on your way to school, on your way to work, wherever you are, watching TV. Just play right, left, kick uh, on your knees with your hands and stomp the floor and try to do it evenly spaced. That's the most important part. You don't have to apply any subdivision to this. It's easiest to feel it as triplets right now. So you have one triplet, two triplet, but it doesn't matter how you feel it. The important part is that they're evenly spaced and that you just repeat those three notes over and over. So you can just go and just get this into your body. And then uh, as you start feeling more comfortable, you can just speed up a little bit. And do it even faster. Until wherever you want to stop or however fast you can go at the moment. Uh, remember that when you're trying to get faster, don't play at your absolute fastest speed. Find out where uh, your fastest speed is and then take it down a little bit and just repeat it there over and over. It's more important to play it a little bit slower and get it even than trying to rush it faster and making it sloppy. All right, so once you got that pattern into your brain, now we can apply it to the snare drum and the bass drum. Okay, so like I said, now we're gonna apply this to the snare drum and the bass drum. And all you really have to remember at this point is just the sticking pattern, the right, left, kick. In this case, snare, snare, kick. And then we're gonna play that over and over and over. So the speed isn't really what's important at this point. It's more memorizing the pattern and really getting used to hearing it. The speed will come over time and I advise you to speed up gradually, but that's not an important factor here. Just try to make sure the notes are evenly spaced and that the dynamics are even. I suggest that you, right now you think of these notes as triplets because in the end, the final fill is triplet based. It's 16th note triplets. But after this lesson, you can explore the sticking pattern, the right-left kick within other subdivisions, and it can create something really cool. But like I said, for now, think of them as triplets. Alright, so next we gotta look at the orchestration. So right now we've been playing snare, snare, kick, snare, snare, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, kick. Uh, but in the fill he's alternating between the snare drum and the two toms. So instead of playing snare, snare, kick, snare, snare, kick, we'll play snare, snare, kick, floor, rack, kick. So right, left, kick, right, left, kick. And we're gonna repeat this over and over.
Okay, so next we're going to look at when he's playing the snare and when he's playing the toms. So if we think these three notes, snare, snare, kick, as a group of three, and we have a group of three with the floor, rack, kick, if we think of those as the snare group and the tom group, he's playing snare, tom, snare, tom, snare, tom, tom, and then flam on the snare, all right? So snare, tom, snare, tom, snare, tom, tom, snare. Make sense? All right, let's try it out. All right, so the last thing to do is to add eighth notes on the hi-hat with our left foot. And essentially everything you have to do is whenever you're playing a right hand, uh, whether it's on the snare drum, on the floor tom, you just gotta play the left foot at the same time. Now this can be rather tricky balance-wise and there's lots of things going on, so it's not necessarily easy. It's just easy to understand what you gotta do. Whenever you play your right hand, you gotta stomp the left foot. So it's not that easy, but it is pretty simple. So let's try it out. Okay, so there you have it guys, and like I said in the beginning, it's a really simple concept, but it's not that easy to execute. You just have to play right, left kick on the snare drum and on the toms as 16th note triplets, and your left foot just has to play 8th notes on the hi-hat, but it's not that easy to play, right? Uh, this fill, or variations of this fill and the sticking pattern has been used by so many drummers, so I suggest you just go ahead and do whatever you want with it. Try around and explore a little bit just the concept of right, left kick, see what you can do, try it in other subdivisions. If you play it as straight 16th notes, it creates a really cool cycle of the grouping of three. So yeah, play around with it. I hope you guys got something out of this. I'll play it one more time uh, to finish this lesson, and I hope to see you soon.